Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week on Unity Particle Tutorials we'll be talking about the last tab in the editor, which is External Forces. We haven't gone over this one because we uh, skipped over it to get onto some more interesting things, because this one is pretty simple and easy to understand, so this will, um, since it is pretty simple, this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, but let's move on to what our scene looks like. Um, basically, I just have the default particle system uh, set up, nothing special there. The only thing that I've added to the scene is a wind zone, which you can do by going over to game object, create other, and then it's all the way at the bottom right here, wind zone. And then this is the default wind zone, I just moved it a little bit uh, for something that we're going to do a little later on. But it's the default directional, I haven't changed uh, much of what's here, I think we can change this back to 1 and then back to 1 as well because I was messing around with it a little bit earlier and forgot to change it back. So um, back to our particle system. Now what wind zones are are basically just areas um, that have a directional force um, of wind just being applied to the entire scene. They're usually used for trees to kind of make them sway in the wind, but in Unity 4.0 they added it so that you can also have that effect applied to particles as well. So if you wanted to do that you just basically enable external forces and there you go. Um, our particles are being kind of blown in our wind's direction, which is um, this way, as you can see by the arrow over here. Um, and that's that's really all there is to it. You can make the, the actual force that's being applied by the wind to the particles larger, and then the particles will be more affected. You can make it zero if you really wanted to, but you might as well just disable that if you really wanted to do that. And you can also have a negative force applied um, by the wind if you really wanted to do that as well. Um, but that is basically it. The only thing that you yeah, kind of have to worry about is if you're using a uh, kind of spherical zone, you should make sure that your particle is in the is in the spherical zone, or at least the part of the particle system that is emitting your particle should be in it, so then at least those particles can be affected by um, the wind zone that you have on. So I'm going to show you one kind of cool thing that I discovered while playing around with it a bit. Um, so let's just bring the turbulence and the main wind forces up a little bit, and then the radius should be fine. Um, so if we move the particle around a little bit, you can kind of see that the that the spherical wind forces are actually messing around with our particle a little bit. Let me try to change that around. So you can kind of create like nifty little like weird spherical force things. Um, by having wind zones. You can emulate all of these effects by just doing manipulating the uh, where is it force over lifetime because that's what the wind is essentially doing. Um, the wind the the external forces basically just ensure that uh, if you have kind of static particles in your scene they're also going to be affected that these particles are also going to be affected by any wind zones that you have. But any of the kind of weird cool movement effects you can that you see here you can also achieve with force over lifetime, but other than that, that's basically it for this tutorial series on how to use the editor. If you have any other questions, or if you want me to kind of um, go into more detail on some of these, I can make additional videos on that, so please uh, either message me or leave them in the comments if you want to see those. Otherwise, I'm going to be moving on to kind of specific particle tutorials on how to create actually specific particle effects. So if you want to see me um, kind of create a video on some of those, if you've ever wanted to like learn how to do a fireball effect or something, again, let me know in the comments or message me, and, I'll, and if it's feasible, I'll, I'll try to make a video on it. So uh, again, thank you all for watching and sticking with this uh, tutorial series, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as uh, I did making the videos. So again, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your week.